speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feast. So these are the days, the, the feast are the days that we're supposed to be celebrating. So Chris, what grabbed your attention? What made you come over here? Brother, or what questions do you have about no, I, the Bible? I really didn't have any questions. I'm just okay. listening to the, uh, to the knowledge, brother. That's, that's how I was going, you know. Okay, so Hopefully we... Hopefully somebody catch see somebody that's in the hood and say, hey, man, that dude standing over there. Let me catch on and see, see what he listening to. All praises. You know? All praises. That's a humble spirit. Because we are here to teach our people the ways of God. We're out here to teach our people our heritage. We were just teaching our people about the Sabbath day. Yeah. Do you know what day the Sabbath day is? Today. All praises. Day. And what time did it start? Uh, I think it starts at like 7 o'clock. It starts when the sky is completely dark. Okay, so that would be... So at nightfall on Friday, it starts the Sabbath, right? Yeah, exactly. And you know what you can and can't do on the Sabbath? Yeah. Let me know. Well, number one, I don't even smile. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you can't do that any day. You can't I do just that any Sabbath. day. Yes, so, sir. You know, uh, go ahead, speak to me, brother. Let me so, there's no buying, there's no selling, right. there's no cooking. You can eat things that you don't have to heat up. So there's no kindling on a fire, there's no using an eye, there's no using the oven to heat up something. And there's no working. And then you must con congregate, uh, congregate. These are things that we have to do on the Sabbath that we're not told. Because on Sunday, what do our people do? They go to church for three hours, yeah, and what do they, they do? Yeah, they go get that man his money while he tell him lies, that's all they do. And then they go buy their groceries after and go <laughs> go to a restaurant go and eat the restaurant, go to chicken house all, the defiled, food. all the defiled foods and mm -hmm. put it in their body. Mm -hmm. But they love God. Mm -hmm. You show you love God by your actions. That's right, what you eat. That's a belief. You if you believe something, you have to do the actions behind it. That's right. Right? If I say I believe I can beat you in a race, and you say, you nah, I can... You got to beat me in that. Thing. Yeah, you, you got to show You got to prove that thing to me, right? <laughs> like the Bible says, prove all things. Right. So we got to prove that we love, we love the Most High God by doing what He tells us to do. Doing the things that He tells us to do that are found in His Bible, that we turned away from. Because we wanted to be like the other nations. So now what are we doing? We are serving the other nations for the abundance of all things. Give me that in Deuteronomy. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 22. Bring it out. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. So once you hear this word, it's not just good to know. You got to apply it to your life. You got to change your life. Because what is repentance? Repentance is change. It's turning away from those, one, those things that you learned from the Bible that you thought were right. The things that you were doing in the world is turning away from those and doing what the Bible tells you to do. So you're being a doer of the word. You're right, brother. Trust me, it's hard being the word of the Hey, that's the most high God who's right. <laughs> the most high God's laws are what make us right. And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So if you're a hearer only, you're only deceiving yourself. You, you only, so you know it, but you're not applying it. But yet you know the judgments for breaking those laws. So you're destroying your whole life. You're only deceiving yourself. The wages of sin is what? Death. Judgment and death. So we have to come back to keeping the most high God's laws. Give me the buttons of all things. Deuteronomy 28. So because we didn't serve the most high God for the abundance of all things, who are we serving now for the abundance of all things? We serve in what they, what they call the American flag right now. So who do you... Who do you have to go to for food? Grocery store, somebody else. Who owns that? It ain't who, us. Who, it do you ain't have, us. who do you get your water from? It ain't us. That's right. Who do you get your food from? Your it, clothing from? It ain't us. You're, now you got to get a driver's license. Your education. It ain't us. Read. That's right. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 47. Break it up. First. Verse 15. Listen to this. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're learning the source of all our problems right now. The source of all our problems is that we didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord our God. That's right. To observe, to do all his commandments. So this is the root cause and this is how we fix it. To observe and to do. Like it just told us in James. Not the hearers but the doers. And his statutes which I commanded this day. What does it say to observe and to do what? All 
his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments. So not just the ones that we find acceptable, not just the ones that we like. It's not it's not all our cart. We can't go and just pick the ones that we want to do. Right. It's said to observe and to do all the laws of the Most High God. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is the source of all our problems, and this is also teaching us who we are according to the Bible. That's right. Because these curses are upon a nation of people. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 101, and then we're going to go back to 47. So this is how we know that we are the Israelites. What is your nationality? Well, as far as I can go back, back in my lineage, uh -huh. I know, you know, going to DNA.com, they say, you know, I came from my Ethiopia. Uh huh. What's that? What's that? You know, you about you okay, well, this Bible is going to tell you who you are according to the things that are happening to you in your life. You don't need DNA for that. Because where do they get that DNA from? Do they, do they have King David's DNA? Is that Timothy or Titus? Do they have Christ's DNA that they can compare that to? No. No. If they did, it'd be a miracle. So. We're going to show you who you are according to the Bible. That's according right. to the curses that are upon you. According to what the Bible says. Then they say for 400 years, brother, that we was going to be slaves until we get up out of this mud and leave us living a life. The Bible says that. Yeah. We're going to always be like this. That's why a lot of folks No, it's not going to be always like this. we got to turn our hearts to the hearts of our fathers, well, yeah, our forefathers. Saying. As long as we're separate, because we're not black. Black is a crayon, a color in a crayon box. How are you going to take me to take me to the land of black? Where is that at? So we have a nationality that was stripped from us. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You are not black. You are Judites. That's you right. are not Mexican, you are Issacharites. And the list goes on. Simeon, Manasseh, Levi. Right. The Most High God says these are your God-given names. Right. right. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Uh -huh. Aborting profane and vain babblings uh -huh. and oppositions of science falsely so-called. DNA is that science that it's talking about. That means nothing. The Most High God explains how this earth works. He explains everything to us. We got to humble down and listen. Go back. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. On this side, Jordan in the wilderness. So this is the word that Moses spoke to us Israelites in the wilderness. After we came out of bondage, bondage from Egypt. So he was speaking to the 12 tribes right there. This is what the Most High God told him and he's telling us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Bring it out. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. We're supposed to serve the Most High God for the abundance of all things. And that is why we are in the conditions that we're in. Because we didn't do that. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.